take both pieces of fabric, separate them, fold lengthwise, and match up the length edge. It doesn't matter if the top and bottom don't match, just as long as the side edge matches. Lay it down with the fold going towards your tummy. Take the other one, fold it as well, lengthwise. Lay it down on top of the other one with the folds matching exactly. Lay the paper pattern on top of the fabric with the long side on the fold. Pin in place, pin the top corner first, pin the bottom corner, and then pin in the other corners. Who is pinning it in place on all of the corners? Step three. You're going to cut out the pattern. Do not cut the side that's folded. Do not cut the side that's folded. Cut towards the back of the scissors and cut the pattern out. Throw scraps of fabric away. Remove the pins and you're going to mark your fabric where the straps are going to go and where you're gonna start and stop pinning. In the circle with a colored pencil, fold the paper back and mark where the red lines are up at the top. This is where your straps are going to go. Take the pattern off, flip the top fabric, flip the pattern, and mark the other side. So just one fabric is marked. Two dots at the bottom, straps on either side, straps at the top. For the pocket, step five, you're going to take your two pieces and you're going to put them right sides together. The right side is the side that's going to show when you are finished with the pocket front. Put the right sides together. Place the pocket on top of both pieces of fabric. Pin down the top two corners going through the pattern and both pieces of fabric. Take your scissors, cut around the edge of the pat pattern piece, just like you did when cutting out the apron. Cut as straight as you can trying not to cut the pattern piece. Then this gets thrown away. Take your colored pencil and mark your start and stop. Remove the pins and you're ready for step six. Moving the pattern piece, pin 
the two pieces of the pocket together on both sides. You're going to start on this dot and you're going to sew all around to this dot. You're going to reverse at the beginning and reverse at the end. Put the fabric under the presser foot, line up the edge with 5 eighths of an inch, and put the dot under the presser foot. Lower the presser foot in place. Rotate your hand wheel till the needle goes into the fabric. Sew about four stitches, then reverse four stitches. Then you're going to sew to this corner the whole time keeping the edge of the fabric on five eighths. You're going to pivot, make sure that the hand wheel is in the fabric, lift up the presser foot. Rotate the fabric so it matches up with 5 eighths. Sew to the next corner. Rotate the hand wheel so that the needle is in. Pivot. Sew up to the top. Turn. Line up the edge with 5 eighths. Sew across the top. As you get to the pin, make sure you remove the pin. Put it in the pin container. Sew to the other corner. Rotate the fabric. Remove the pin. turn. You're almost done. Pivot to the last one and you're going to sew to your stop dot. And when I sew to the stop dot at the end, I need to reverse. Rotate your hand wheel so your needle is all the way up. Lift up your presser foot, pull it out to the side. After the pocket has been sewn together, you're going to cut the top corner off. Do not cut the stitching. And the reason we're doing this is to make sharp corners. Then you're going to take the bottom corners, you're going to fold it in half and cut a little V out at an angle. Do not cut the stitching. So you have one V there, one V there, this corner, this corner. So your pocket should have the top two corners removed, two V's, two V's, and you're ready to turn it right side out through the opening in the bottom. Take a colored pencil, push out the corners, then you're going to take it over to the iron and you're going to iron it flat so that your pocket is shaped like this. Remember, this is the front of your pocket. The back of the pocket is the apron. Part two. Once the pocket is piece is sewn together, you're going to get your piece of apron fabric that is not marked. The one that has the marks on it, you're going to keep in your Ziploc bag. The one that is not marked, you're going to open it up and you're going to place your pocket somewhere on your fabric. You can do it at an angle, you can do it straight, you can do it up top. It's up to you. 
I'm going to lay my pocket here in the middle. I'm going to pin it in two places. Then I'm going to sew the pocket front onto the apron front to create a pocket. So I'm going to sew along the edge to the top. I'm going to reverse when I start. I'm going to reverse when I stop. I'm going to line up the edge of the fabric with the edge of the presser foot. 